Hey guys, so we are back with um, a new video today. Uh, the window is open, so if you hear any bird chirping sounds, that's where that's coming from. Uh, today's video is going to be about teacher recommendations. Someone asked me to do a video on that and I thought, yeah. Why did I not think about this when I was doing my whole college app series? I was just like, yeah, I'll just do the FERPA thing, and then I didn't really go into depth on um, recommendations at all. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, Alini needs to up her game. <laughs> um, yeah, let's talk about teacher recommendations. So I started thinking about teacher recommendations kind of early, actually. Um, turn this off there's like blue light on my face okay so yeah I started thinking about them kind of early um like junior year but honestly I would recommend asking your teachers sometime in like winter to spring of junior year because I don't know bird I don't know how it is at most schools but for my school at least like there were some teachers that were like the popular ones to go to for teacher recommendations because like either A, they wrote really well or B, they were just really nice in general. So if you wanted one of them to be your um, recommendation writer, you had to like be one of the first to ask because after like 20 or so kids, they would stop um, writing them because obviously it's so much work for a teacher to like have to write 20 recommendation letters right um so yeah i asked both of my teachers around february or march yeah maybe like march of junior year um and that was like that was a good time uh but yeah i ended up so i kind of wanted like a STEM teacher and then a humanities teacher so just like one of each and then I started thinking of like who in each of the subject groups liked me and who I like was on good terms with and who I had interacted with a lot over the years and so I came to the conclusion that I should ask my um and I know that, like, they recommend getting junior or senior year teachers, but senior year teachers don't teach you for that long before college apps are due, so I wouldn't recommend doing a senior year teacher. So basically, you're just, like, limited to junior year teachers, and I didn't really feel like I connected with um, my STEM junior year teachers at all besides like research but I wasn't sure if research was like gonna be considered a legit class you know so I just ended up asking my sophomore year um, math teacher who actually taught me two classes um, geometry and AP stats so I thought like yeah she taught me two classes so already we have like a stronger relationship and then on top of that, in junior year, she started like a stats club kind of thing at my school, which I was in, and I had kind of like a role doing technology coordination with another girl. Um, we were just basically in charge of like figuring out this program called Jump, and then making like a presentation for the club and teaching the rest of the club how to use it. And it wasn't like that big of an extracurricular commitment so I didn't even like list it on my college apps but um I still thought that that interaction strengthened our relationship so despite her being my sophomore year teacher which I know some schools like they just recommend junior year teachers I just like went for <laughs> my sophomore year teacher because I was like junior year my STEM teachers I don't know we like weren't we were just like civil at best you know um so yeah and then and then as far as my humanities teachers went junior year I really liked both my Lang teacher and my A push teacher so I was kind of debating who I should ask between those two um and they're both like known for writing good recommendation letters that's the thing about like humanities teachers I don't know 
I guess it, it just has something to do with like the subject matter they teach, but like they're generally known to be better at writing rec letters. Um, like their persuasive skills and like their argumentative skills and like just like writing skills in general are just, I don't know, of course that's a stereotype, but like that's just what I, what I heard. Um, so I was trying to figure out which of the two to ask. And the deciding factor for me was really that my Lang teacher was also my Lit Mag supervisor. And I was in the Lit Mag since sophomore year, and I was going to be president of it senior year. So I, yeah, it kind of obviously won out. So yeah, that's kind of like my whole decision process behind choosing who I wanted to write my rec letters. So whenever possible you do want to like pick a teacher that um likes you you interact with a lot so even if you don't have like extracurricular involvement with them um if you like go to talk to them before class or after class or just like i don't know are on chill terms with them like that's probably what you want to go for of course, if you are in an extracurricular that they advise or, like, interact with them um, for some extracurricular reason, that is also a plus and you should definitely consider asking them. Um, what else? Um, I guess it depends on what major you're going for. But for me, since I, like, put both science research and my writing stuff as, like, activities I was in on my Common App, I kind of wanted a balance of like one STEM teacher and then one humanities teacher, um, but it's really it's really up to you. I think they just want them to be like a teacher that teaches a core class, so that would usually be like a math, science, history slash government, um, English, and I think foreign language should count. Yeah. So it's like that, those five. Okay, and then when it comes to actually asking them for the letter, don't ask over email. Um, I'm not sure why, but I've heard it's not as respectful as asking in person. And it, it, like, when you ask in person, it doesn't have to be, like, formal at all. You can just, like, go up to them and be like, hi. Um, so I don't know if this is like too early or too late to ask you this, but I was wondering if you could write, um, a recommendation letter for me for when I'm applying to colleges next year. Super simple, yeah. Um, and then there, um, I'm not sure if this is incredibly necessary, but I know some people recommend asking whether they can write a positive recommendation letter for you because, well, okay, I feel like for my case though, if a teacher really did not think they could write me like a positive recommendation letter, they would probably like tell me um, when I'm asking them that, but um, I don't know. I think some people like they do worry that teachers might not be sincere with them, um, so yeah, some people, like, recommend adding in, like, a positive recommendation letter just in case, like, there's any bad vibes, um, but yeah. So that's that. And then, oh, oh, and then when it comes to, like, actually getting them to, um, what's the, like, pull through, <laughs> um, so yeah, it was, like, kind of, um, because, yeah, you're, like, gone for a summer then, and then you come back, and you're hoping they still remember. They should remember. They should, like, write down the list, um, but then, like, maybe send them a reminder email, um, in the beginning of the year. Ask them if they need any information about the activities you do or about the classes you take, your resume, whatever, awards, stuff like that. You can ask them if they need any additional information from you. That can just be like a polite way to remind them, you know? Um, and then as the deadlines roll closer, um, 
and if they're not like done yet I know one of my teachers was like done really really early and she like sent it through the oh you have to so you yourself once you open your common app account um you should send them the request through common app um and you should like write a little message if common app lets you do that or send them an email saying like I just made my common app account and I just thought I would give you the request so whenever you're ready you can like upload your letter actually I think my school did it through Naviance yeah something like that um anyway so you can do that but then like as the deadline draws closer you and if they still haven't uploaded it yet because like one of my teachers uploaded it really fast the other one <laughs> she's kind of cutting it close but um so you can like ask them in person remind them when the deadline is just be like if you need anything from me like I'll be totally glad to help stuff like that um try remaining polite and everything um if they still don't upload it by the deadline which personally all my teachers did um but if they don't I wouldn't worry about it too much because colleges, like, they've been on record to say that, like, oh, like, all we need on the deadline is everything that you are responsible for. So, luckily, teacher um, recommendations don't fall under that. Same with guidance recommendations. Like, um, because that's not really on you, that's on them to upload them on time. So there's usually like a couple day leeway for like teacher recs and guidance recs and stuff to come in. Um, so yeah, don't worry too much. Just make sure they get them in within like a week after the deadline. Because like colleges don't start looking at apps like the day after they're due, you know? There's always some like errors or whatever. Um, so yeah, just make sure they get them in shortly after um but yeah I think that's about it um yeah definitely let me know if you have like any questions about this topic down below um but yeah okay I'll see you guys next time okay bye <laughs>